Uh, my name is Tim Suffy. Uh, we are at the River City uh, Cafe in, uh, in Fairbanks. Uh, today's topic is the state implemented plan addressing the PM 2.5 problem in the Fairbanks North Star Borough area. And this is this week around town. Uh, on Thursday, Sierra Research presented their uh, status of the Fairbanks uh, North Star Borough as PM 2.5 air quality plan. In the presentation, it should be noted that it came from, it was produced by the uh, Sierra Research. Uh, they are uh, a research company that's not based in Alaska. The short and the sweet of it is, they say that all of the non, how would you say it, non-invasive mandatory uh, plans are not going to reach the uh, benchmarks that the EPA has set for the uh, Fairbanks North Star Borough. EPA has a new annual standard. It was uh, 15 micrograms per cubic meter. It's now 12 micrograms per cubic meter. So they reduced the yearly average standard by 20%. So you better hope we don't have a bad fire season because three or four days and it doesn't matter. We are out of compliance. Yes. In the non-attainment area, they got it all uh, gridded. Uh, for curiosity's sake, if you're wondering, a grid cell is uh, 1.3 kilometers by 1.3 kilometers. All the grid cells must reach an attainment of 35 micrograms per cubic meter in order to meet the attainment levels. Yeah, that's the good one. Not uh, just an average. No. Each one. Each, each cell has to pass. Otherwise, you do not meet their criteria and you are in non-compliance or whatever. You are in an non-attainment non -attainment area. They have a number of uh, ordinances that they're going to be looking at that are part of it. Uh, I would not be surprised at all if the assembly goes and tries to put on the uh, ballot next year to rescind the Prop 3. So, how many times does the uh, uh, voter have to say no before they know that no means no? Uh, the answer is never. They know better than you. Look to see who the actual authors of any of these ordinances really are. Where are they really coming from? Are they coming from Full Climate Research Center uh, and all oh, their cronies? Or is it supposedly coming from supposedly neutral bureaucrats <coughs> or is it actually coming from assembly members this isn't right uh, this doesn't work for us we're not going to destroy our economy or give up our rights so if as a community we can't hold tough against the EPA they really can't do a whole heck of a lot they keep threatening about taking away the like seven million dollars of highway funds for uh, north, uh, northern Alaska district, well, how many millions more dollars that are actually left in uh, the people's pockets here that burn wood that then allows them to actually eat? So you're looking at a trade-off. And I'll do without $7 million in federal highway funds because I don't believe in being blackmailed by uh, the federal government with our own money.